July 18, Saturday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place Many people followed him and he cured them all But he warned them not to make him known This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet, Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord He will proclaim justice. The Gospel quotes extensively from Isaiah prefiguring Jesus and his mission. Biblical scholars have validly referred to the Old Testament prophets as being the conscience of the people of God. When they speak out boldly and courageously against injustice, they have two purposes in mind. They and Jesus wish to protect the rights of God's poor as well as to call those who have sinned to repentance. We can recall some words of Oscar Romero, Archbishop of San Salvador, murdered in 1980 and canonized by Pope Francis on October 14, 2018. There is no dichotomy between man and God's image. Whoever torture a human being, whoever abuses a human being, whoever outrages a human being, abuses God's image. If God accepts the sacrifice of my life, may my death be for the freedom of my people. A bishop will die, but the church of God, which is his people, will never perish. I do not believe in death without resurrection. If they kill me, I will rise again in the people of El Salvador. What is your reaction to these words of a contemporary prophet?